If you'd like to learn more about home automation and more specifically how to automate the opening and closing of your window blinds, then stay tuned. This video is for you. As many of you know, I do a lot of videos on photography and photo adventures and hiking and all of that good fun stuff. But occasionally, I will do videos on technology and home repair and everything that happens in the real world. As many of you know as well, I'm a technologist. I focus on information security and um, I do a lot of things when it comes to home automation as well because I like this idea of smart homes and being more efficient. Um, I have you know a lot of different smart plugs and switches and motion sensors and if you'd like to see me do videos on some of that type of technology and what you could do with it just let me know in the comments below and then maybe I'll start to explore that uh, in more detail. Now this video and the reason I'm focusing specifically on the window blinds is because in my entryway, I have a motorized blind. It's up high. Um, I am unable to get to that blind without the use of a ladder. So many years ago, I bought this motorized blind and it's worked well up until the last maybe six to nine months and the gear started to fail on it. I took it apart and I'm thinking now is probably a good time to find a replacement. I started doing some research and I came across a company called Sunsa. They had a Kickstarter campaign out there and did really well with it. And I started looking at the device that they uh, were in the process of creating, and it really intrigued me. Now, this device is a wand that replaces the existing wand on your window blinds. And there is all kinds of smart technology built into it. So I reached out to them and we started a dialogue. We went back and forth and um, a really nice, great uh, company. And I, I always love innovation and I think that uh, that's what they're bringing to the market and so nonetheless I've talked to them about my situation and um, about you know the whole smart home concept and full automation um, and I do have this idea to automate all the blinds in my house so my house faces the east and the back sides on the west and so I have this idea that when the sun rises in the summertime from an efficiency perspective I could shut or leave shut all the blinds that face to the east and then as the sun gets to high noon uh, we open the blinds that face east close the ones on the west side so you do this to kind of keep the sun out keep it kind of cool inside the house there's a lot of different things we can do with the blinds but nonetheless they're they're intrigued with what i want to do and so um, they are committed to helping me out and i really appreciate that so what do i have with me today I've got one of their wands right here. You can see it says Sunsa on it. So um, I have not really messed with the product at all. I've been busy throughout this week and really the last couple of weeks when I first got the device and just haven't had a chance to get to it. But I have a nice weekend here and I thought this would be a good time to get on this little project and see what we can do with it. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to open this up right here. We'll take a look at the contents. Um, we'll go through the setup process and we'll just do it together and see what this thing can do. Um, I'm going to hook it up to a blind that's sitting right next to me. And um, and then I'll give you a few final thoughts when it's all said and done. So with all that said, I invite for you to take a step back from your busy lives. And uh, let's just get into this product and see what we can do with it. Let's start off by taking a look at what's inside the box. Now, I'm using my DJI Osmo action camera, so I assure you the box is not warped. It's just a, uh, it's my camera and the lens is, is wide, so we're going to see some bowing occasionally. So just know that as we get into it. So inside the box, um, you can see that the wand looks like it's all laid out right here. And uh, it's nicely wrapped and protected. Let's go ahead and just take this out. We'll see it. So this wand, um, yeah, it's, it's got a nice solid feel to it. Um, it is metal, and you can see that there is a sensor right here. And this looks um, this looks to be where the antenna might be. Perhaps it's behind this little uh, this little window. So right here, uh, looks like we have some other sensors. Now I believe the temperature sensors on this side right here. There is also a Bluetooth reset right here. 
and obviously on the top up here we have our hook um, and you can see that on the other wands uh, just a typical wand that goes into a blind will have a hook like this um, I believe they also have some adapters in the box, so we'll take a look at that. And this looks like a stabilizer of some sort right here. We'll take a closer look at that. Um, right here, looks like on the back side of the wand, this is a port, and I believe it is for a solar power adapter. So I believe they offer that as well. Now, how is this powered? I believe it's going to be right here on the back side. This is where we're going to put our batteries, and this is going to take four double A's, I believe. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in the box. Again, it feels nice, um, nice and sturdy. It's metal, so it's good, well constructed. Looks like we've got a little quick start guide right here. Um, let's take a look at this and see what might be in it. Yeah, so. I don't know how well we can see it on the video, but those are the adapters right there. Um, there's an application looks like we're going to need to get. It's one for, uh, well, both devices on Android and the iOS. So all that looks good. Um, it's got kind of a layout of what's on the wand. So I just took a guess, and it looks like I was uh, close on all this stuff right here. And it looks like there's a stabilizing support arm that should be in the box as well. So... Uh, let's continue to look. Let's see what we got up top right here. So up here, ah, these are the little stabilizers. And it looks like it's got some uh, 3M tape on the bottom right here. So that's probably to stick to the, um, to the upper part of the blind. Ah, these are the batteries. How well we can see these. Now, this is nice because these batteries, they're Energizer Max. So they didn't put the cheap batteries in here. These batteries, uh, there's two there and two there. So they got four batteries, Energizer Max. I like that. Um, okay, and then over here, oh, these are the tips. So there's two additional tips over here. Let's take a look at these real quick. Ah, so this will just depend on the blind that you have. This is just a center hole right here, and this looks like it's got a little screw that goes through. So they're just giving us a couple of different options here, uh, depending on how that wand connects to the uh, to the rotator in the blind. So, all right, that's good. Let's go ahead and um, take a look at the application on the phone and get that downloaded. Go to your store and search for Sunsa. And that's what I'm doing right here. And you can see, again, I already have it downloaded, so it's prompting me to open it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just tap the Sunset application, and you can get more information on it if you like. Um, but again, I've already installed it. I'm going to go ahead and open it now. And you can see when I was just doing some preliminary testing, I went to set up something called Front Office, um, and I was really impressed with the guides. I'm going to go ahead and step you through it right now. But let's go ahead and add this device that uh, we're looking to test with. I'm going to do so by hitting the plus in the upper right hand corner. And you can see the guide comes up. Uh, there's the picture of the wand right there and it's asking us to get started. So let's go ahead and jump into this process. So what's interesting is that this will take you step by step uh, through everything you need to do to get this wand set up. So you can, you can see right here, it's saying before we begin, let's identify the different parts of your blind. So it's just going to kind of take you through. That's called the wand, just in case you didn't know, um, because it just wants to ensure that uh, you have a clear understanding of what they're talking about. There's the spindle at the top. These are different spindle types. So the type that I personally have is on the upper right. Uh, it, it's got the little circle in it. But again, depending on your blinds, you may have any of these right here. So you just step through this guide. Um, I'm going to move through this relatively quick, uh, but keep in mind, you know, this is going to help you with your particular blinds. So you can see the tips, the adapters, and the battery. Uh, these are the different uh, configurations you can put onto the wand. Um, those are, again, the hook tips right there. And you can see it's basically asking you, 
Will one of the hook tips that they supplied work for you? In my case, yes. And I think that those are very universal, so you shouldn't have any problems with them. Now right here, it's asking to go ahead and insert the batteries. Um, I have not done that yet, but I'm going to step through the guide real quick, and then I will play catch up. So they talk about uh, the wand adapters right here. Um, let's step into this a little more, how the adapter works. So what's interesting about this, again, is, you know, if we take a look at the fixed piece off to the side of the adapter, it sticks into um, this piece right here. Now, the reason for this is because it holds the wand in place while it turns. If you did not have that there, the wand would just spin freely and your blinds wouldn't, wouldn't open or close. So again, you can kind of see how this is working right here. It's letting you know to put that uh, that piece vertically and then it'll fit into the slot. Um, and again, it talks more about how to attach it. Um, talks about the configuration of it, whether you want it on the left side or the right side. Um, in my particular case, I think we're gonna go left side, so I'm gonna leave it as left. And it gets into more information about how you configure it and insert it. Let's go ahead and step next. So it talks about the location. You can see the X's and what you want to do with that. Um, again, I think some of this is very fundamental, but it's just to really help you out here. Um, so a little more about the adapter there. Um, and now it's saying once you have this set up, the install is complete. You can hit done. And at this point, it's basically saying it wants to use our Bluetooth. Now I've already um, I've already associated this application with the Bluetooth, but if you have not, it'll prompt you to do so. In this case, I'm going to hit next, and it should auto detect it. It does, and it says success. The Bluetooth has been allowed. So in this case, I am going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries into the wand and get it set up, and then um, we'll go from there. We'll do next step. Time to fetch the batteries out of the package here should be four of them and there see four in so we are good um, go ahead and just remove some of the packing material put it off to the side and let's go ahead and unscrew the bottom here let's insert our batteries all right Go ahead and put our bottom back on. Now for me, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this particular tip on here. I think uh, one of the other tips would uh, might work as well, but uh, this should go ahead and do the trick. And let's go to the blind and uh, go ahead and replace the wand. This might be a little tough to see just because we have daylight outside. Um, but I do have a rail up here, so I'm going to go ahead and take that rail off so we can expose uh, the header of the blind here. But you can see this is my current wand, and the connector's right up here, and again, it's sort of tucked away behind this rail. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this rail off, and then we'll take a closer look at that. As I mentioned, I'm using a DJI Osmo, so it's an action camera. I really don't have the ability to zoom in much. Now, these blinds, these are real wood blinds with the cloth slats in them. Um, and I can tell that this wand is uh, its kind of, um, it's old school, but it's cool. Uh, I got to take this little piece right here, push it up um, to expose the, uh, the clips that basically run down into the wand. And so as I push that up, I can take it up over my rod coming out here. And then, I don't know how we can see it on video, but right here, there's a little hook coming out. And this allows me to just slip the wand back over. And now my wand is out. But I don't know how well we can see that right there. But again, that's what's holding uh, this, uh, this wand onto uh, the rod that rotates the blind. And so this right here has just got, uh, it's just a little circle in it. So we're going to take the, the new wand and I'm going to go ahead and just push this collar back up and I'm going to go ahead and just hook it in like this right here. I can get it. There you go. So that's now in there. And again, I'm not sure how well we can see that on the video, but now this wand has the ability 
to rotate and turn the blinds. Um, you can see that the adapter right here coming off the wand is going to need to fit in to that fixed mount that we're going to place right here. And again, we can put it on the left side or the right side. Um, it's, it's very universal when I looked at that guide. So um, again, I think it's gonna work well for us here on the left. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the adapter and see what we can do. I've got the left-sided adapter right here and you can see the 3M tape on the top. Now, um, in the past, anytime I've had the 3M tape and I found it to be the case here, I always like to kind of peel that piece back just a little bit as opposed to getting this up here and then trying to do it. Sometimes this can really be stuck on there. So you might need a, a sharp edge, maybe you know a blade of some sort just to kind of peel it back a little bit. And then that way it makes it really easy once you get it up here just to peel the rest off and stick it. Now if you want, um, you know, you want to be sure this is clean right here. You could use a little rubbing alcohol if you want or clean it off with something. Um, I'm not overly concerned by that because um, I've cleaned this already. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in. Again, I know it's probably a little tough to see, but it just slides right into this slot. And then you're going to push it in a little further and you're going to hear a snap. Just like that. And then what you want to do is this piece right here, you're going to rotate this clockwise and it's going to come forward like that and you can hear it snap again. Let's do that again so you can hear it. There you go. Just like that. And now it's in place and it's good and you still have the freedom to slide this up and down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm going to place it to the left a little bit and I want to pull it out just a little bit from the blind so that this rod, um, you know, is not exactly leaning on the blinds. It's gonna probably hit on a little bit down here at the bottom, and that's okay, it's not a huge issue. It's just something to think about as you go to mount this. Just, you know, ensure that it's not bound up. And that's pretty much the gist of that. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish this peel. Uh, let's see if we can get it. There we go. There we go. And let's go ahead and find a good place for this. So um, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, kind of looking at the rod here on the front. And I believe uh, I feel pretty good about where it is. So we're going to put it up here. And there we are. So we have it on there. You just want to push down so it's kind of nice and firm and it's in a good position. Now that we have our wand set up, let's go into the next step. So right now it's scanning uh, for the device and let's see if it'll detect it. It did. Um, so let's go ahead and select the detected device. And it's going to ask me, um, what network I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my network and I'm going to go ahead and key my password in. Now this should connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, it should be getting the connection right now, getting an IP address and uh, we'll see if this works out. All right, so that didn't take long. It says it made its connection. So let's move to the next step. It wants me to go ahead and name it. And um, let's go ahead and just leave it as the default name for now. Now this is asking us what kind of blind do we have the wand attached to. Um, you can have a mini blind. Um, you can go with the horizontal or the vertical. And I think in our case we have a horizontal blind. It's a two inch blind, so it's saying two to two and a half. I'm going to select that and hit save. Now it wants us to calibrate. So let's go ahead and start the calibration. And this is going to tell the wand uh, what the open position is and how far it's got to go to close it up maybe and close it down. We're going to find out here in a minute. So yeah, at this point, um, it's asking us, are the blinds currently open? And if not, it looks like we can make a major adjustment and a minor adjustment. Now these blinds are already open, so I'm going to go ahead and select yes, blinds are fully open. And let's see what it's doing at this point. 
My assumption here is that it's storing the current position. So now it wants to know, hey, go ahead and close these blinds. So we're going to make a major adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and hit the bigger circle. Uh, and there you go. So the wand is making an adjustment up on the blinds and it's incremental. So let's go ahead and do this again. We've got a little ways to go, so we're going to do it again. Now I might be able to hold that down, but let's just go ahead and keep the incremental process going. Now that's getting pretty close right there. Let's make a minor adjustment, which is the smaller circle. And uh, maybe one more here. That yeah, looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and make one more. Now that's looking better. I'm going to go ahead and answer yes, blinds are fully closed. So it looks like it's going to open it back up and it's doing that. Um, that actually looks pretty good. It's asking us, uh, did they, they go back to fully open? That's really, really close, but I'm going to answer no, because I think we got just a little minor adjustment to make. And, uh, you know, the more I look at that, I'm going to actually say, yes, that's, that's pretty good. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make a little quick adjustment here. There you go. That looks good. Now I'm going to answer yes. All right. So it looks like it's going to want us to close the blinds down at this point. Let's make a major adjustment down. All right, and let's just keep going kind of like we did when we were closing up. So go again, and again. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna say that is closed at this point. I don't need to make any minor adjustments. I think that took three or four majors and put us right where we needed to be. Okay, so now it looked like it tried to return to the open position, but it's not fully open. So the app is asking us, did the blinds go uh, go back to fully open? I'm going to say no. And let's make uh, an adjustment. All right, let's go ahead and make another one. It's like we got to make a few of these here. Again, this is all part of the calibration to set this uh, wand to know where the blinds need to return to be fully opened and closed. And there you go. That actually looks really, really good. So now we are fully open. I'm going to hit it. And at this point, it looks like it's saving everything. It says our calibration is now complete and it's ready to use. I'm going to go ahead and hit done here. All right, it's just letting us know that it's good. So again, the front office was just kind of a brief test as I was stepping through this just really quick, but nothing's really set up on it. So with this one right here, let's go ahead and test this out and um, see how well this works. I'm going to go ahead and close down all the way. That looks good. Everything is closed down. Let's go ahead and open back up. All right, that looks really good. Um, the other interesting feature on this app is it appears that you can partially close. So I can close down, say, 40%. That looks good. So if you don't want to close them all the way, you can... Go down to whatever percentage you want. So let's go ahead and open back up. Ah, that looks really, really good. Normally when I create videos on my YouTube channel, it takes more time, a lot more time. So in this particular case, I was really surprised. Um, I expected for this to take longer. Uh, the longest process here was really the calibration, and that didn't even take long at all. So um, everything seemed to work very, very well. I didn't have any issues with it, and I was expecting for that to take a lot more time. Um, so that's, I guess that's a good thing, right? So yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of surprised with how smooth that went, and now I'm starting to think more about what I can do with these wands. Now, uh, the innovation of this wand, you know, it's it's turning the tip, right? And it was designed um, to rotate the rod that goes into your blind to open and close them. Uh, but I'm already thinking about other purposes for this. And I'm also thinking about outfitting the rest of my windows. Now, Sunsa, and again, I have this dialogue with them. Um, they're supposed to be sending some additional wands. And 
again, if you want to see me get into you know more of this type of technology, just let me know in the comments below, and then we'll we'll get into all kinds of smart home tech. Uh, but I do think I'm going to create maybe a follow up video or two uh, when the other ones get in about how I've automated the rest of the windows uh, in my house because. You know, right away, I'm thinking about different routines. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, obviously when the sun comes up, when it goes down, the windows that face one direction versus the other direction and uh, just all kinds of things that, that you can do. And maybe it's walking into a room, you can have the, the blinds open up, uh, you know, based on sensor technology. So I don't know. It's I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's the short of it. So um, I'm going to post some links to... Uh, my Instagram and my TikTok. I haven't done a whole lot on TikTok. Um, I occasionally do some stuff on Instagram, but if you want to follow me over there, go ahead and do so. Um, and if this video has helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.